Welcome back to the Traders Network Show, broadcasting worldwide on equities.com. I'm your host, Matt Bird. We're here in Davos, Switzerland, covering the 2019 World Economic Forum. And my next guest is Kitty Perry. Kitty, welcome to the show. How Thank are you? you Matt. Good to see hey. you. Good. So, Kitty, Kitty, you're the CEO of Deep View. Uh, and Deep View's gone through a, an amazing transformation over the last year. You started off as social media compliance. Um, you had a, a number of, of amazing test pilot programs. But the most important thing right now, Deep View is arguably the world leader in image recognition uh, and cybersecurity to help prevent companies from losing IP through their employees. Right? right? Spot on. Got it. So let's dive into this a little bit. How did this get started and where are you at right now? Because I know there's two sides of the business. We'll get into that in a second. Why don't we start off with how did you get this thing going? Right. So five years ago. And we had banks all wanting to do social media and not knowing what to do with compliance. So we put 15 in a room with the UK regulator and out came DeepView. Wow. That was it. That's, inc <laughs> that's incredible. So in DeepView, you have ChatGuard. Yes. So tell me about ChatGuard. So ChatGuard is the ability, user enabled and user adopted, to record WhatsApp on personal devices and corporate devices. Yeah. Primarily so people can use it for work. We know these channels are being used for work. They're just not being recorded properly. So we're enabling Interesting. that. And then there's ImageGuard. Yeah. And that's the bit you've just talked about. That's the cool stuff. That's just that's the IP thing where if you're sitting at your desk and you're going taking a selfie at, at, at your cubicle, which we, we, we've all done, and behind you is the you know iPhone 12 product launch that you inadvertently capture and then you post it on Facebook because you did a little selfie and all of a sudden, poof, product launch leaked, right? Yeah. That's essentially, that's essentially what you're doing. Now, how does that work behind the scenes on your side? Tell me about some of the use cases you have right now. Yeah, so it's there's threefold how it works. We've got one, as you say, product leakage because on the whiteboard or whatever happens, there's detail of the product. Two, we've got the, um, we have passwords on post-it notes, literally sitting there in computer, <laughs> beside computer screens with the inbox. And we've seen this, actually we've seen this, I mean, I think Apple had a security brief, right? Somebody had their terminal, their password and username right there in our terminal, they took a photo of their feet, I think it was, right, yeah. on, the, on the desk. Right. I remember this, it was a huge thing, and it's been, in, you know, governments are starting to, re it's called, I think it's called social engineering, is, it, yeah. is that about right? Yeah, got it. So what's the next, what's the next phase? Um, building out the machine so it becomes more and more intelligent. It's all about the uh, algorithm recognizing difference between trading terminals and inboxes so that it becomes more intelligent for the organizations to use and support employees. We're about helping them to, to prevent the data. You know, leakage. we're supposed to cut to a commercial break in a second, but I'm going to keep you on for a few more minutes. If you, is that, is That's that okay? great, yeah. So, um, we, so right now, can you tell me some of your customers? Uh, I can say that we work with government organizations, yep. large financial institutions, and we're just onboarding a, um, what, how can I call it? Uh, I will say a pharmaceutical company. <laughs> so it's any organization where data is critical that it remains inside the organization. Have you had any pushback from implementation of this? Of this? With all the privacy laws and everything going on, what we're talking about is companies basically monitor their employees on, on, on the web. Now, it's, it's not for nefarious purposes. It's actually to help protect them and protect the organization. Have you gotten any pushback? So we built the product from day one as a user-enabled solution. So we only roll out where we get staff saying, we want to use WhatsApp to talk to clients, to other traders, whatever it might be. So it's demand-led. So hence that's incredible. The, that's the best way. And that's why you're getting such a huge adoption right, right yeah. now. Yeah. That's amazing. Well, listen, I'd like to have you back tomorrow or maybe even Friday if, if you can. I know you're crazy busy on the street. Um, it's great to see you again, Kitty. Well,